Good morning children. Welcome to the English class. Today, let's learn a new story. And the name of the story is Peter has a great laugh. So the story was written by the famous American author Thornton Waldo Burgess. He was one person who really loved nature and its creatures. In fact, he loved them so much that he wrote about them for 50 years through his books and in his newspaper column called Bedtime Stories. And his stories have been so popular that he is sometimes called the Bedtime Story Man. So our story, Peter Has a Great Laugh, is taken from his book, The Adventures of Peter Cottontail. Before we begin the story, let's have a warm-up session. All of you please take your English reader and turn to page number 63. You can see a warm-up session page here. Now, have you all heard about April Fool's Day? When is it? April Fool's Day is on the 1st of April. So on this day, people play harmless jokes or tricks on their friends or neighbors. And the victims are called fools. So you look at this picture given here. Observe it closely. You can see two children playing and someone is coming through the door. And there are a few questions given below. Observe the picture carefully and you have to answer the questions given below. You can do this as an activity now, like a warm-up session. So you please pause the video, finish this one and come back. Now, I hope you are done with that. Now, coming back to our story. So our story, Peter has a great laugh, is a story between a rabbit named Peter Rabbit and a fox named Reddy Fox. And this rabbit, Peter Rabbit, he was not happy with his name. So he took up the name Peter Cottontail. So this Peter Rabbit and Reddy Fox decided to meet one day at the old briar patch. The Reddy Fox was a little bit late while the rabbit was waiting at the old briar patch. Then he was hiding in a big bramble bush. So as the story unfolds, we find that Reddy Fox had gone to Farmer Brown's cabbage farm one night to eat cabbages. But he ran away from there on being chased by what he thought was a monster. So hearing this, our Peter Rabbit rolled on the ground laughing hilariously and it turned out that he played a prank on Reddy Fox. The story unfolds the series of events that happened on the night when Reddy Fox went to the cabbage farm and caused him such an alarm. So let's Read the story, or if you please turn to page number 64 in your English reader. The sun had just come up. Reddy Fox started down the long little path to the green meadows. He was late already. He should have been at the old bride patch by this time. He was afraid now that Peter Rabbit would not be there. When he came inside of the old bride patch, there sat Peter right at the edge. So our Peter Rabbit and Reddy Fox had decided to meet at the old briar patch. And what do you mean by briar? It's a common name given to small thorny plants. And patch is a place where you can see a thick or dense growth of such thorny plants. So here a Reddy Fox was on the way to the old briar patch but he was a little bit late and he was scared that Peter Rabbit might have come there upon not seeing Reddy Fox, he might have gone back. But when a Reddy Fox reached the old bear patch, he saw our Peter Rabbit is still waiting for him there. Good morning, Peter Rabbit, said Reddy Fox in his politest manner. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. It's all because I had a terrible fright last night. So, a Reddy Fox so our Peter Rabbit and he immediately apologized to Rabbit for being late. And what is the reason that he got late? Reddy Fox explained to Peter Rabbit that the previous night he had a fright. And what is fright? Fright means extreme fear. When you see something fearful, you might feel a sudden extreme fear. That's called a fright. So he had a terrible fright the last night, the previous night. And because of it, 
he got late. And then Peter Rabbit asked him, Is that so? What happened? asked Peter, ducking behind a big bramble bush to hide his smile. So when our Reddy Fox told our Peter Rabbit that he had a fright the previous night, Peter was asking for an explanation. He asked Reddy Fox what happened the previous night. Ducking behind a big bramble bush to hide his smile. Ducking. To duck means to lower the head or body quickly. Like when you don't want to talk about something that you don't like or when you, want to, when you don't want to talk about something that you're trying to hide. So our Peter Rabbit was ducking behind a big bramble bush. What do you mean by ducking? To duck means to lower the head or body suddenly. And he was sitting there like that under a big bramble bush. And what do you mean by bramble? A bramble is any thorny plant which bear fruits like blackberries, raspberries or dewberries. So our Peter Rabbit was sitting there ducking behind a big bramble bush when he asked our Reddy Fox about the previous night. So what did he reply? What did our Reddy Fox reply? Reply, why? I went over to Farmer Brown's garden to see if that new planting of young cabbage was all right. And there I met a terrible monster. It frightened me so that I did not dare to come out this morning until jolly round Mr. Sun had begun to climb up in the sky. And so I am a little late. Are you ready, Peter Rabbit, to go up to the new planting of young cabbage with me? Asked Reddy in his pleasantest manner. So what did Reddy Fox say? Reddy Fox explained to Peter Rabbit that he had gone to Farmer Brown's cabbage farm the previous night. And he said that he went there to check upon the new planting of cabbages. And there he thinks he saw a terrible monster and he got scared. So upon seeing the monster, he tried to run away from there and hid somewhere. And he just waited there until sunrise. And that's why he got late to come to the old briar patch. And then he asked Peter Rabbit if he is ready to go back to Farmer Brown's cabbage farm to check upon the new planting of cabbages. And then what did Peter reply? What do you think Peter Rabbit did? Why Peter just began to laugh? He laughed and laughed and laughed. He lay down on his back and kicked his heels up in the air. So when Peter heard Reddy Fox explaining what happened the previous night, Peter immediately started laughing. He laughed so hilariously, he was rolling on the ground laughing. Reddy Fox stared at Peter Rabbit. He just did not know what to make of it. Reddy did not understand why Peter was laughing so hard. He began to think that Peter had gone crazy. He thought Peter has gone mad. He could not see a thing to laugh at, yet here was Peter laughing away. Finally, Peter stopped and sat up. So Peter was laughing so hard and after some time, he stopped laughing and he sat up. Did, did the monster catch you, Reddy Fox? He asked, wiping his eyes. So when you laugh so hard, sometimes you might have tears rolling down your cheeks, right? So our Peter Rabbit was laughing so hard that he had tears in his eyes. So Wiping his tears, he asked our Reddy Fox, Did the monster catch you? Because Reddy had explained he saw a monster there. And Peter asked him whether the monster tried to catch him. No, replied Reddy, it did not catch me because I could run faster than it could. But it chased me all the way home. And what did Reddy reply to Peter? Reddy replied that the monster did not catch him. He ran away so fast, faster than the monster, but the monster chased him all the way to his home. In that case, I think I won't go up to the cabbage bed this morning, for you know I can't run as fast as you can. Ready? And the monster might catch me, replied Peter gravely. Gravely means seriously. So Peter gave this serious reply to a ready fox. He said to ready that, if there was this monster there, he is not ready to go to the cabbage farm to check upon the cabbages. Besides, he added, 
I have had my fill of tender young cabbage and it was very nice indeed. And he also added that he already has tried the cabbages there and it was tasting very delicious. Let's turn to the next page, page number 66. What? shouted Reddy Fox. And Reddy got amazed hearing this. Yes, continued Peter Rabbit. I just could not wait till morning. So I went up there early last night. I'm much obliged to you for telling me of it, Reddy Fox. I am indeed. So our Peter Rabbit told our Reddy Fox that he's very thankful. What do you mean by obliged? Obliged means to oblige or uh, to feel obliged means to feel thankful. So Peter felt very thankful to Reddy Fox for telling him about the newly planted cabbages in Farmer Brown's cabbage farm. And he could not wait any longer to try the new cabbages. So he had already gone to the cabbage farm and he had eaten some of it. Reddy Fox thought there was something fishy, but he wanted to find out more. So he managed to smile. He said, oh, don't mention it, Peter Rabbit. Don't mention it. But tell me, didn't you meet the monster? When Peter said he had already gone to the cabbage farm, Reddy thought something is suspicious, but he wanted to know more about it. So he just maintained his cool and he smiled and asked Peter Rabbit that did not he meet the monster there like Reddy met the monster the previous night. But then the rabbit replied, no, replied Peter Rabbit and then do what he would, he could not keep sober another minute, but began to laugh just as he had before. When a Reddy Fox asked Peter whether he saw the monster there when Peter went there. Peter said no, he did not meet the monster. And then again he started laughing so hard and Reddy could not understand why. What's so funny Peter Rabbit? Tell me so that I can laugh too, asked Reddy Fox. So Reddy asked why he was laughing so hard and he asked him to tell him the reason so that he can laugh too. Why, said Peter Rabbit when he could get his breath. I saw you at Farmer Brown's garden yesterday and hid under Farmer Brown's straw hat. I gave you a fright when I moved under the hat so that I thought I will make you a game of it and chase you. Ha ha ha. Ho ho ho. So what did Peter say? Peter was laughing so hard that he could not even breathe. So when he stopped laughing and when he could get his breath back, to get, to get breath means to begin breathe normally again. So when he could get his breath back, he explained to Reddy Fox that the previous night he had seen a Reddy Fox at Farmer Brown's garden. And on seeing him, a Peter Rabbit hid under a straw hat. And he thought he will give a fright to a Reddy Fox just for a fun. To give a fright means to frighten someone, to scare someone. So. He thought he'll make a game of it and chase you. But then Reddy mistook him for a monster. Reddy Fox realized just how badly Peter Rabbit had fooled him. So now Reddy understood that it was Peter who was hiding under the straw hat and not a monster. And he realized Peter had just fooled him very well. With a snarl, he sprang over the bramble bush at Peter Rabbit. But Peter was ready. He darted away along one of his own special little paths through the old briar paths. So when Reddy realized that Peter was making fun of it, he with a snarl, a snarl means a growl here. So with a growl, he jumped over our Peter rabbit to catch him. But Peter was ready to spring in action. He just ran away faster from there and darted away. Darted away means to dart away means to move away quickly. So he ran away quickly from there. So our Peter Rabbit had this secret path in the old briar patch. He had made a burrow and he had a secret path where he could run away easily without being chased by anyone. So when our Reddy Fox tried to catch him, our Peter Rabbit immediately ran away from there. He escaped through his secret path in the old briar patch. Reddy tried to follow but the brambles scratched his face and stuck his hands and feet. 
Freddy tried to catch up, but he got scratched by the thick brambles which were growing there and he could not catch Peter. So that was a nice story, right? So I suggest you have to read the story again. And there is one more famous Peter Rabbit described in the book, The Tale of Peter Rabbit by the author Beatrix Potter. And have you heard about the Panchatandra stories? The Panchatandra stories written by Vishnu Sharma is an ancient Indian collection of animal fables. And this story was taken from The Adventures of Peter Cottontail by Thornton Walter Burgess. So children, I suggest you, if you can get hold of these three books, please go to them, read the stories and enjoy. So that's all for today children. We'll meet in the next class. Until then, bye.